Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? There's a GoFundMe right now from Saints fans trying to raise money to put up a billboard uh, in New Orleans near the uh, the Saints facility for four weeks to uh, to fire Dennis Allen. Um, I, why not? It, you know what the um, the reality is for one billboard for four weeks isn't it's like this astronomical cost. It's uh, according to this um, this article here, WGNO. It's one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars so far. They've raised just under six hundred dollars for the billboard. Uh, I wonder if I wonder if Gail Benson and Mickey Loomis are going to hear this. Not not hear this like the show or or even see the billboard. Sure they will. I, I just mean are going to are they are they capable of listening? Of course they can hear. I mean, but listening will the message actually penetrate and saturate? Will they commiserate? Can we emancipate ourselves? from Dennis Allen and eviscerate his contract. I thought it was good. No? You got any more? I was kind of you're kind of on a roll there. You just have to drop a beat underneath you and you. Mm. Oh, do it. You got it? I, I'd have to get one. Oh, That's why man. I asked if you had any more. Well, you can't just say I'm going to throw out a beat. You don't have a beat. Well, you, do you want me to be? I, actually, you don't want me to be. No, I don't want you to do that. Um, I think it's so telling when you look around the league, and it's not to say that everybody in the league, the way that they do things is right, but look at look at Tennessee today. Tennessee fired Mike Vrabel, and Vrabel had a good run in, in Tennessee. The last four seasons, winning records, they've had playoff appearances, and this year, it didn't, it didn't go well for Mike Vrabel and Tennessee. I mean, they're trying to move on to a new franchise quarterback. They've drafted quarterbacks each of the last two years. That's that's difficult, right, to to go through that type of transition. But you know, Vrabel is above five hundred for his career in Tennessee at fifty four and forty five. But he was six and eighteen in his final twenty four games, and ultimately they thought that that organization was trending in the wrong direction, and. Maybe they're making a move at quarterback. I, I don't. I don't even know that I necessarily agree. But my point is, there is something to be said for being for being quick to hire, quick to fire. And the worst thing that you could do is when something reveals itself as not working, continue to push forward with that strategy and approach because you're just digging yourself deeper. And when you look at the New Orleans Saints right now, so I mean, look at look at the Atlanta Falcons. Arthur Smith had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back seven and ten seasons. They missed the playoffs three years in a row. They had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back identical seven and ten records. And there was a lot of changes. You changed quarterbacks during that time. You brought in Ryan Nielsen this year. You fixed your defense, but you seem to have missed on Desmond Ritter. But no matter what you did, they didn't show the progress necessary to justify running it back for another year. Arthur Blank very queer, very clearly recognized that as a manager, as an operator, that the guy he had wasn't going to get it done. And it's why I think, in part, there's a lot of, of Saints fans, people who love this organization, that are frustrated because it is very clear in watching Dennis Allen and how this organization is being run, that they have a glass ceiling in place with him as a coach and with Derek Carr as the quarterback, and even prior. I mean, this was supposed to be the year you broke through. Dennis Allen's a really good defensive coordinator, right? Your defenses were going to be good. You went and added the franchise quarterback, gave him all these toys and weapons. You had Michael Thomas coming off of injury. I know he got hurt this year. But Chris Olave, second year. Rashid Shaheed taking a big step. You drafted Kendra Miller, who I know was hurt. You brought in uh, Jamal Williams. You brought in Foster Morrow. You had the easiest schedule we've ever seen this organization have. The Saints or the Falcons had the easiest schedule in the NFL this year. And you still missed the playoffs for the third consecutive year. 
what are you going to run it back for? This is three consecutive years now that you've missed the playoffs. You have the oldest roster in the NFL and the least amount of cap space going into next year. I mean, tell me where the hope should be. Tell me where the optimism should reside. I, I don't see it. There, there is no evidence to suggest that there's reason for optimism with Dennis Allen and with this organization as it is. And everything they do as they continue down this path is just prolonging the inevitable and making up a bigger mess to clean up. Eventually, before you can start cleaning up the mess, like you got to stop the bleeding. Like if, if your bathtub is overflowing, the first thing you do, you don't go get towels to clean up the water on the floor. You turn off the faucet to stop the water from overflowing. What's the first thing you got to do before you can start to clean it up? And it feels like all the Saints are doing is they just keep throwing towels on the ground and the thing just keeps overflowing. That's where you are as, as an organization right now. But until you go turn that knob, the water's going to keep flowing out of the faucet. And until you fire Dennis Allen and move on, you're not going to get better. Not to the point where the expectation is with this organization anyway. So I don't think fans putting up a fire Dennis Allen billboard there on, on Earhart is, is the thing that's going to get it done. But I think it is an illustration of what a lot of people see that this organization with this leadership isn't going anywhere. Because the path you continue to walk down has proven like there isn't light at the end of this tunnel. I mean, you're in that corn maze and you just keep moving toward toward a dead end, but you're just trying to plow through that dead end. See what they do. Uh, but it sure as heck seems like Dennis Allen's coming back, and he said it on Monday that he expects to be back in New Orleans for 2024. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.